Now a long overdue honor. Ray Suarez has our story. The Tuskegee Airmen. It's more than 60 years since these men answered the call to serve from a segregated America. Today, some 200 surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen and their families were at the Capitol to receive the nation's highest civilian honor, the Congressional Gold Medal. Almost 1,000 black combat pilots were trained in a segregated unit at the Tuskegee, Alabama Air Base. Hundreds saw combat in Europe, the Mediterranean, and North Africa. They flew thousands of sorties, escorting bomber aircraft, with unusually few losses. Dozens died in the fighting. Many shot down and held as prisoners. Today, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi praised them in the Capitol Rotunda. In 1942, the African-American paper, the Pittsburgh Courier, called for a double victory campaign. Victory in the fight against fascism abroad and victory in the fight against racism at home. Today, we come together to pay tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen who with planes and the power of their example fought against both of these foes, foreign and domestic. They also heard from a man who followed in their footsteps and gladly acknowledged his debt, former U.S. Army General and Secretary of State Colin Powell. But I know to the depth of my heart that the only reason I'm able to stand proudly before you today is you stood proudly for America 60 years ago. The question is begged, why? Why would we do this for all of these years? Why would we serve a nation that would not serve us? Two answers, I think. One, notwithstanding what they had put in the Constitution about us being property, we still believed in the vision that the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution set forth for the kind of America that could be in this new land. We believed in that. We had to believe in it. What else would we have to believe in? And the other reason, I think, is that military service, laying down your life for your country, was about the only way in which, for so many years, blacks could demonstrate that they were equal to any white citizen. Then it was President Bush's turn. I would like to offer a gesture to help atone for all the unreturned salutes and unforgivable indignities and so on by the half, on behalf of the office I hold and a country that honors you, I salute you for the service to the United States of America. Dr. Roscoe Brown spoke on behalf of the airmen. When over 60 years ago, we were flying in the skies over Europe, defending our country, and at the same time, fighting the battle against racial segregation. And because of our great record and our persistence, we inspired revolutionary reform in the armed forces, which led to integration in the armed forces in 1948, and as the president said, provided a symbol for America that all people can contribute to this country and be treated fairly. We are very, very pleased to have been in the forefront of this struggle for freedom and justice in this country. And Mr. President, we are so proud today, and I believe America is proud today. Thank you very much. The actual gold medal will go to the Smithsonian Institution for display. Individual airmen will receive bronze reproductions.